Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode. Today we're taking a look at Star Crazy, an NFT play to earn game where you can collect, fuse and mine with your stars. This is a very, very player driven project and that's why I really like the look of it. It's also low entry cost. I know a lot of people are looking for those low entry cost games that could have potential of seeing some return of investment and beyond. So Star Crazy is one that I picked out uh, from the sponsor list that they are supporting the video today and the watch to earn content. So there will be a $300 giveaway. Um, if you post in the comment section below, go to the Discord section, uh, which is in the description, and go to competition wallets, post your YouTube name and your competition wallet, your MetaMask wallet address, and you will be entered. Right, let's get into today's video. So what we're gonna be doing is taking a look at the website, and then we're actually gonna be playing the game. I'm gonna talk about how to set up the, your IOTEX uh, on the IOTEX chain, because this is gonna be on a, 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 the IOTEX chain, which is very, very cheap. Um, which is always good. I always still think anything that's not on your popular chains like BSC, ETH, they're going to be less, they're going to be, there's going to be less people on them. And that means that they will eventually, if they create games that will attract users and people can attract people more likely to then use them. Um, and you tend to see a bit better returns. So that's what I'm, I'm thinking in just relation to, you know, Cardia Chain in its earlier days, um, Avalanche released Crabada, you know, new chains that release new games are seeing quite a lot of traffic um, and a lot of a, a big pump. So what can you expect with Star Crazy? Well, they have 8% of beta players rating it as five stars, um, a lot of good feedback. Fuse and fight your stars, so if you want to level them up, you can fuse lower rarities together. There will be a shop where you can collect and get new stars in the market and sell to other players. Discover a galaxy of rare stars. You can fuse, so you can merge them together to create endless combinations. Fuse super rare and ultra rare for extra digging power. And mine. Dispatch your stars to the crystal mine and use unique dig powers to mine tokens. Adventure awaits. GFS belongs to the players. It's 100%, so there's two tokens. GFS, which is 100% player earned. Um, 30 million total, total supply, and it's 100% mined, 100% play to earn. That's huge, like having a resource that's purely, play to, purely for player earnings. And then GFT, which is 70% um, player earned, 20% goes to devs, 10% to the treasury. That's a huge portion of play to earn um, being given away from the tokens. Yeah, I, I, I like the tokenomics on this. That's what really made it stand out to me. It definitely looks like it's a very much player based game and they have a close-knit a close knit community that are working to build this and develop it. Right, so to play, you are gonna need IOPay on your mobile and you can download this via the App Store or get it on Google Play. So check that out and then once you've downloaded it, then you need to get to the next steps. Right, so once you've downloaded IOPay, you could open up and this is where you'll play the game from. You can open it as a DAP, as you can see there, um, among with other things that are available, MIMO, AirDrop and my, my Machine Fi. MIMO is the exchange which you can use to swap for GFT and uh, to swap for IOTEX token if you need it. To begin, you're gonna need some IOTEX, which is gonna be a gas, and then you're gonna need some GFT to be able to pick up some new stars. So the way to do this is to go to iotube.org.tube forward slash tube. So I'm gonna put all the links to these in the description below. Then you need to bridge from your BSC over to your IOTEX um your c i o t x now you can do this first of all pick up some iotex from PooCoin. as i said in the description below you can swap some bnb for that you need 10 minimum so swap about you know well however much you're going to want to purchase for your gft uh characters so let's say you they range around 20 to 30 dollars so let's say i put in one bnb swap it for my iotex then i can hop over to iotube Click CIOTX and click the swap button. That'll take you to Pancake Swap, where you can import these two tokens. They will say from an unknown source. Click Understand, Import, and then both of them will go into there. Then you can swap your IOTX into CIOTX, and then you can go over back to the IOTube and change the receiver address to whatever your wallet is on IOPay, and then 
click go and then you're ready. You can then do all your transactions through the IAPay app. Right, once you've got that in your wallet, you can just go to MIMO in the DAP section, which is in the middle, click discover, go to MIMO, and then you can go to the swap and swap your IOTEX for some GFT. Once you've got that, now you are ready, you're all set to go, and you can click on the Star Crazy DAP and it'll get loaded. So very easy to use on mobile, nice and easy to log in. That's what you want with a mobile game at the moment. So many of them, like you are logging log via QR code every time, which I just sound quite pointless because you gotta log in the internet and then take a picture of the QR code. And once you're in, you're ready to go. You have four menus. So the first one, which is my stars, that will list all the stars that you own. Then there's there a few section where you would merge two together um, to gain one with potentially more favorable stats, more favorable traits. You've got the market. This is where you acquire your, your stars. This is where you pick them up. You can either buy them directly off another player or there is the site's official auction. So these will be auctioned off uh, repeatedly throughout the day. And you can try and get in one of these to pick up a good deal or pick up one of a decent rarity. Oh, I want this guy. This guy. I'll bid. I'm going to outbid the guy before. There's 14 blocks remaining on this one. Probably going to lose it. That, But look at it. It looks well cool. It's blue. Um, yeah, and then you've got your transactions, which is obviously a history of what you have bought in the past. Once you've got them, you will then be able to stake them in the star mine section where you can click them and then just click dispatch. You will then start using your dig P, which is dig power and earning tokens. You have the syrup pool, which is where you can stake GFS and you from staking that you will actually get GFT. So the $30 per token. Um, there is 685 distributed daily. 17,905 remain. Then you've got the LP mining as well, so you can create an LP token bar for um, the pairing of IOTX and GFT. And from that, you can earn GFS, so the in game token. So, plenty to do in terms of staking. And when it comes to um, how much you actually get, let's take a look. So, let's start off by getting we've got three. Um, three GFT to use up. Starmine, it looks like you can dispatch nine out of nine. So we want to pick up nine, probably nine 0.3s then. So if we go to our market, so I'm going to, I'm going to just pick these up, but obviously probably better to wait a while and try and get in on these official auctions because then you can pick up what you want. Um, we have got free market. So if we go to um, quality, just one thing to mention is, is there's differences in quality. So SSR, SR, and as we go down, you'll see there's rare there, and there are um, two other classes as well. So normal. Now the market is where you pick up your stars, and you can either buy them off the free market or auction buy one at auction, you're probably going to get one cheaper through the auction and you're going to get one that's more desirable fits with what you want. Now, the free market will be, you can change it to sort by price, quality and dig power. Now, ideally, dig power is probably going to be the better one to go for. Better the traits, the better the the uh, stats are going to be on it. You've got different rarities. So you've got SSR, you have SR, rare, and normal and these are obviously going to have higher digging power you've also got ur which is ultra rare um, but we can't look at those right on there now each each star has eight different traits and quite nicely listed just as a kind of um summary of what these guys levels are you can see the circles represent what they've got of each of the um each of their traits so we can see this one for 70 gft has two ssr traits and it's got three sr traits this one that's slightly more 88 gft is has three traits uh, uh, ssr 
Now you can merge them together to get the better traits. You can also um, you can also sell these if you wanted. Obviously, a good way to earn money is to be able to level your your stars up, merge them together through synthesis, and sell them, flip them, because you've got 70 GFT for that. Now that is two thousand one hundred dollars a price. If whoever's got that can sell up two thousand one hundred dollars, and if we check out the stats, we can see their dig power is labeled below. So we do have a panda, which is panda skin, which is an ultra rare. Um, we've got SSR uh, times three, SSR of the beard, cuttlefish, and Mimi for the ears. Um, and we've got normals for the for two of them. And you can do that for all of them. So you can see the digging power, 2390 um for the ssrs are much bigger 9700 and if we go down to a rare we can see it's only 1055 so it will change depending on what the rarity is right so let's go to the free market and pick up some neutrals i'm just gonna buy any of these and as you can see it comes up as a transaction uh, very easy to use. Very easy to complete the transactions. Um, and buy this guy. And these are all neutral. Pick them up. That's uh, still processing. So there we go. We've got our first star. It's got balloons. So now if we go back, we can pick up something different. This one's got... Oh, uh, uh, this one with a carrot tail. Where's the carrot tail? Oh, there's radish tail. Radish tail looks pretty badass. I want radish tail. Thank you very much. Yeah, radish tail. Um, I mean, the main thing to focus on is just how cute they look. <laughs> just, just pick one that you feel is the cutest. See, only 49 dig power with these normals compared to that 9,000 with the SSR. So you're obviously not going to get as much. Da -da. Oh, look at this guy. Is that a cookie for a hat? No, what is it? Head. Chester. <laughs> Chester. I'm going to call him Chester. Put that through. It costs 0.28 IATX every transaction so not a lot now uh, if you are struggling with getting IOTX I mean I've probably showed you how to bridge it but you, if you're really struggling and just need one IOTX to be able to make any transactions and you feel like you've been able to bridge B and B absolutely fine just send me an email um, with your wallet address and I'll just send you over one IOTX it's no problem uh, anything just to make it a little bit easier and accessible for you guys so if we go to here now, we can select our, our different types and we click dispatch. That'll go through as another transaction, 0.39. I mean, the transactions will probably be slightly higher just because obviously we're minting. Um, but at 0.3, I think ITX is about 17 cents last time I looked. And that is roughly probably about eight eight pence is what you're spending. It's 18 cents. So there's about eight cents per any of these transactions. So smaller than the Binance Smart Chain. Slightly smaller than the Ethereum blockchain, which is mildly. Don't know why they didn't choose the Ethereum blockchain. What? Right. So we've got those three. Operation is in progress. And we can see that our total dig power now is 147. We've earned 0.0001. And we can claim that. There we go. So we can see it going up. And we can claim that at any time, it looks like. You can see the max fee on this is 0.07 uh, because we're not minting anymore. We're just putting through a standard transaction. Um, so that'll continue to build passively. Um, let's buy two and then practice the synthesis. So if we take this one, because I mean, there's a lot going on for this person. 
And then... You have well, I like the fox tail. What a good one with the fox tail, fox tail and chestnut hat. Okay, look at this guy, he's like part fish, but unicorn. Um, I'm gonna go for this guy, I'm gonna call him Chester. Um, and then yeah, we're all good, we're all good, but you can sort by dig power as well. So, highest dig power. Is this one actually higher? Oh, it's got two ultra res. So if we take a look at this guy. His dig power is 16,862. It's because it's got two who you are. And the rest is four neutrals and two rares. But it's just those you are's increase dig power massively, 16,000. This is 16,000. It also has two UR. Wow, that's interesting. This is actually the bearer, it looks like, but for some reason it doesn't have as much. It must be that their, their stickers in the cudgel are better. Now we've got those two, we can fuse. So we can take uh, Radish and Chester and synthesize see what happens when we synthesize operation is in progress please wait now imagine there'll be a random chance of mutations and that's where we get the opportunities to get those ultra rares right synthesis happening okay so we'll be blending in blending those together we got two r serrated and radish but still a neutral rating so can we Blend these two together. And let's see what we can get. So really it's all about just blending and blending together and breeding out the best one that you can get with the higher dig power. Uh, and then you can start to earn GFT. Okay, is this, is this what the guy we've got? It turns out they're, they're pretty similar, right? Not much different. So we have Radish macerated, all neutrals. So we can keep picking these up. So I'm using about ten dollars per per star crazy. And one thing I think you've got to consider in this is that this is the very early stages of the game. You know, go on the website; they haven't even got a roadmap out. Um, but so it's, it's, it's a kind of like, do you think it's a worthwhile investment and risk? Because it could pay off quite heavily if they bring out a game that has more than... Basically, at the moment, it looks like it's, it's a mining, yield farming game. And they need more to it. They need more to develop it. But from their news, it sounds like that's what they're trying to do. So Right, so one more blend. Let's do Carrot Tail and Lollipop Tail and see what we get. So I think what you've got to think about with, within this game if you're investing, it's low entry cost, um, but if you start forge, forging these together, merging them, you're going to start adding up your costs, aren't you? And wow, we just got a call. All ends. Um, so you're going to start racking up some, some costs. You're going to be earning the more that you add into your dig pool, the better the digging power that you have. And some of that can go back into investing in new characters. Now, this is very early stages. I think that's something you got to consider. And that, that can be a good thing or a bad thing. So it is a bad thing in that, you know, there's not a, a workable game at the moment um, on, on this app. There is a, it's basically yield farming. And also, I think it's quite enjoyable, the fusing aspect and getting different rarities and different traits. But what do they have in store for these in the future? Our website doesn't have a roadmap, doesn't have a team out, but they do have a news tab. And from that, we can see what their next plans are. And one of them is planets. They're wanting to add planets into the game. So there'll be six unique planets making their debut appearances, wondering how the planets will align with the battle stars. Wonder no more. Each planet will give its visitors a special battle experience based on its character attributes. So you're not only leveling up to, to get higher dig power, 
you're also leveling up in preparation for future updates. So they will be short but sweet, but just like this planet, I mean, that planet looks pretty delicious. So six unique planets making the debut appearances. I really like the designs of these planets. They look really cool. So this is really promising that whilst they don't have a roadmap specifically, they clearly do have plans in basically what you'd expect from any roadmap is further developments on what you've already got. And the fact that they're working towards planets just shows that it's a priority for them getting some other ways of playing the game. On top of planets, we have PVP coming in Q1 of 2022. So a very exciting feature that you'll not only be able to mine, but also battle with them. The game will implement the NFT battle arena where you can show off your skills with your team of handpicked NFT stars cards. You'll be able to bring three of your favorite stars into the arena to engage in PVP battle. So picking up these now in preparation for when NFT card battling comes in. So with this news, you can pick up some of these NFTs early before NFT battling comes in. And you know, when NFT battling comes in, that could increase demand and other people will be more likely to get on board, which is good for the token. If you win battles, you'll be rewarded with the GFS tokens, but also there will be leaderboard rankings and there'll be fighting skill tournaments for the most skillful and strategic and cunning people. Uh, there you can win great GFT and GFS token rewards and of course eternal glory. You could see the GF token go up and therefore it becomes more valuable when you're mining. Um, so I think getting it early on this one is a very good one. It's a long term hold. I think you're going to be grinding to, to fuse your stars together but could be one of those that as the game develops there's more demand to it and they have more utility and therefore the value of those NFTs go up. Remember, every time you fuse um, one together, yes, you're losing GFT, but you keep the NFT and those NFTs you could at some point sell on to other people if you wanted to. Okay, well, that's all for this one. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Please find the links down below for Star Crazy, everything that you should need to get set up. If you have enjoyed it, please leave a like on the video as well. It always helps the channel out. Hit subscribe for you to keep up to date with future content. That's all for me. See you guys soon. Thank you.